एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम welcome to s chand academy so in part 1 of this lecture we'll be learning how to uh, the applications of definite integrals to calculate area area is something like you know wherever you are standing or uh, suppose you have any any uh, surface then you want to know what exactly the area will be surface could be of any shape but you should know how to calculate the area it's not that in uh, in the small classes you were calculating the area of rectangle circle square they 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 were like fixed uh, 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 they were uh, some uh, fixed shapes but now here you you might get any 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 kind of shape then you should know how to calculate area or the concept you should be knowing in 12th class one more thing that you will you will be doing it by single integration line integral uh, we call it here uh, we'll be learning how to calculate area by double integration so in this lecture we'll be learning the main thing is how to calculate area and uh, by double integration hello everyone i'm dr seema thakran if you want to know the concept in detail please refer to the book by s chand publishing the e book link is given in the description box below so uh, let's start with the lecture how uh, the applications of definite integrals uh, to calculate area so definite integral means that you are given the limits in case you are not given the limits you you should be knowing or you should uh, you should you should be learning how to uh, get the limits to calculate the area of uh, such a region and uh, so i just start with the concept so definite integral to evaluate or to calculate area so we call it uh, application also uh, calculating area means we are uh, doing the application part of definite integral so for uh, this we'll do by double integration this is uh, this is something new you are learning so double integration to calculate area you will be learning and uh, any, uh, for double integration always you will find three cases so i just mention the three cases first and then i start explaining so case 1 case 2 case 3 if we talk about area it means it will be a 2d picture that is so it is x and y so it's it's 2d uh, domain, uh, domain you we call it so in 2d how to calculate uh, area by double integration case 1 is first i mention the cases because it is double integration so dx dy it is dy dx the another case is dx dy and some function of x and y because we are dealing in 2d so obviously x and y both variables you will be uh, getting and here also fx y there is a difference you see here i have written dy dx here it is dx dy and in the third case dx dy but both both i am mentioning and then you will see what is case 3 anyhow case 3 is the easiest one if you are getting such uh, problem or such situation here if i am writing dy uh, first then it means the first limit is related to the y variable then if i am writing dx at the end it means this is uh, this integral is related to the x variable if i am writing dy and because i am discussing this situation and the limits of y are so if dy is here and uh, y limits are in terms of x axis uh, sorry x uh, variable and x limits are from a to b this is one case you will be getting where dy dx is the situation it means you will first do integration with respect to y and y limits are given in x terms and x is from a to b it means x is constant both the uh, variables cannot be uh, variable that is one thing in all the cases 
one limit can be variable and if it is variable it has to be you have to do integration with respect to that variable first that is must so dy limits are in x terms and x is from a to b this is one case it means here you will just different integrate with respect to y first then x and obviously there will be a possibility if i am writing dx first it means this is related to x it means in this case x is some function of y x limits are basically function of y and y limit will be some c to d so it means y is the outer integral and what is this third case some this is the case where the limit is given limit is given in uh, in a way that uh, x limit is in y terms y is from c to d if this is given these are the three possibilities if in case it is not given that also we will be learning how to get such limits and all only three possibilities if you are given the limits three cases if you are not given the limits you are calculating then also the, these three possibilities will be possible only so in this case what is this possibility here both the limits will be constant so it will be a, a, uh, x from a to b y from c to d and you can just change it is dx dy so it will be dy dx so y from c to d and x from a to b can you see this uh, this case this is special case it means here you cannot change the limit but here the if both the limits are constant you can easily reverse the order of integration and there will be no problem answer will be same so third in third case you can reverse uh, you can just take x outside you can integrate with respect to x first or y later or you can integrate with respect to y first or x later it just completely fine there will be no issue but if you are getting such a situation and the situation two cases so here you have to because y limits in uh, is in x term so you have to integrate it with respect to y first then x here uh, with respect to x first and then with respect to y so these are the three possibilities uh, so let me start uh, with one example you will get better idea but only three possibilities for double integration so uh, and there is uh, before uh, coming to the uh, example i just uh, mention one more a very important term that is change of order of integration this is very very important and you can say the most important topic when we uh, talk about area so this is change of order of integration so three cases we discussed uh, how to calculate or what are the situations for double integration and then what is the need of change of order of integration one example i'll take where the limits are given and then why i am changing the order and how to calculate double integration that we'll be doing in our uh, a, a, a problem so evaluate so in this example i am taking that uh, uh, limits are given and the question is this so if uh, like you uh, i have told you it means these are y limits these are x limits this is understood because one of the limit is variable you cannot change or you cannot just uh, replace it that uh, you have to stick to the order it means y first and x uh, later but if you see e to the power minus y upon y you cannot integrate it by parts you can apply because there are two uh, two functions one is e to the power minus y another is one upon y if you apply by part then obviously derivative uh, you take and uh, derivative should be like that you are stopping or the integral is possible but here the derivative is non ending you keep differentiating the there is no possibility to integrate if you are integrating it with respect to y it means i have to change the order first so change the order means i have to integrate first with respect to x and with respect to y later there that is the only possibility because this is this way this integral is not possible this is double integration A limit is also given here uh, limit is basically from x to infinity this is y limit very very clear now in such a situation how to calculate this double integration and how uh, to change the order of integration in in a single question we are learning then we take up another uh, problems 
so we are given how how now to how to draw the picture y is x y is infinity then x is 0 x is infinity this is as per the question this is as per the question y is x y is infinity x is 0 x is uh, infinity so draw the lines these are lines y is x it is this line passing through a region and making 45 degree angle then y is infinity it means this is just approaching towards infinity so this and this then x from 0 x 0 means y axis where is x 0 on this x is only and then x is infinity now the question is uh, which which area because it is uh, 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 basically breaking two portions I can see one or two but which area or which uh, region to consider I just let you know y limits are from x to infinity dy means uh, you will be taking the pipe parallel to y axis if you are taking the pipe parallel to y axis then from x to infinity you have to go it means this is the region we have to take I hope it is understood dy means the region, pipe will be parallel to y axis y limits are from x to infinity x is this y limit starting from x uh, from this line only and it is approaching to infinity so it means we are talking about this region specially now this is as per this region but i have to change the order so what will what are the limits if i am changing the order that we are now that we have to see so x limits I am bothering for x limits I have to take the pipe parallel to the y, uh, x axis. So now if I am taking x axis parallel to x axis so x limit will be uh, uh, the limits of uh, x will be variable. So here x is 0 this is y equal to x line. So what is the x value here it is y only and for y in this region especially y is starting from 0 and it is going to uh, till up to infinity it means y limits are from 0 to infinity so it means if there is a need of change of order this is how we do the change of order and now I am just teaching you how to calculate the double integration so now this is a perfect problem so it means I have to integrate it with respect to x first when I will be integrating it with respect to x first I will consider y constant if I am keeping it y constant it means the same thing as it is I will write and one cut one integration with respect to x is just x only in the limits 0 to y and dy. So it is 0 to infinity e to the power minus y by y it is x limits from 0 to y simply y y y gets cancelled and you see now there is no issue if we are just calculating this limit so 0 to infinity e to the power minus y dy integration of e to the power minus y is e to the power minus y by minus 1 0 to infinity e to the power minus infinity upon minus 1 when you are substituting 0 the lower limit minus minus will become plus and e to the power minus infinity is 0 e to the power infinity is infinity you should remember these values log infinity is infinity log 0 is minus infinity and log 1 is 0 so these uh, these are very important values you should be knowing so e to the power infinity is 0 and e to the power minus 0 is 1 it means initially the problem seems to be that it is difficult to calculate it is uh, we cannot integrate we cannot find the value it means uh, we cannot find the area but when I did uh, change the order there is possibility and the area is because it is in square units it's one square unit and uh, this we did with the change of order of integration so double integration how to do we did then how to change the order of integration that we did and uh, one problem we have done on this so uh, this is end of this part and in this part we have learned uh, what is area and uh, how to calculate the area by double integration types of double integration 
uh, there are three types of double integration now uh, uh, type 1 type 2 type 3 all we understood that how to understand those uh, types when we are doing the double integration one problem we took on uh, uh, change of order of integration because sometimes uh, straight away it is not possible to calculate the area by double integration we need to change the order of integration so that is what we did in this lecture if you want to know the concept in detail please refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing the ebook link is given in the description box below please like share and subscribe S. Chand Academy do not forget to Press the bell icon for the future updates. Stay connected, stay tuned, keep watching upcoming videos. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.